So let me just put it this way, okay? So for those of you who are um, in relationships and your relationships are a little bit stale, I feel that it is really, really important for you to continue to work at it and to find a way to reconnect with your significant other or your relationship partner, mainly because I feel like there might be um, this sense of stagnancy, but also temptation coming into the picture. So I do not want you to be dealing with that if you're a little bit estranged or you feel that emotional disconnect from your partner. So let's just go into the reading. This is the um, spread that I have laid out for you. Let me talk about this character. We have here the Knight of Wands, and this is somebody that is incredibly exciting. They're very attractive. They're very fun, can be a little bit flirtatious. The energy exchange between you and this fire sign, so this Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, is very, very dynamic. A lot of the times, um, this person can appear to be someone who has, is very well traveled. So they've been around the block, you know, they've explored different territories. They might have been born overseas and then they immigrated to wherever you are staying. So this is someone who is a little bit transient and they might be he here today, gone tomorrow. You have somebody that is very exciting in your midst. And I also feel like this is a person that is bringing about new passion in your life. Okay, I feel for many of you, especially if you are single, this is a really good person for you to start dating. And I also feel that the opportunity for you to date the offer on the table, it's actually coming in from this person. For those of you who are single and out there, you know, looking around, I feel that for the past, um, it could even be like the past six months, a lot of your energy is going towards, you know, work, work, work. What can I do to make ends meet? What can I do to increase my financial foundation? What can I do to build up things from scratch? What I, can I do to strengthen my professional life? So I feel like you were operating from this energy where you were trying to get ahead, where you were trying to secure a better financial future for yourself. You're also possibly in a position of leadership where there were a lot of responsibilities, there were a lot of work just kind of piling up on you. And then as a result of that, I almost feel as if you just did not have time to get out there to mingle. And I'm also feeling for some of you, especially those who are single, there was a past act of indiscretion, somebody that you really, really... Um, gave your heart to somebody that you consider, you know, you really cared about, you were willing to kind of like put your life on hold in order to be with this person. I feel like there might have been an act of indiscretion, like somebody stepping out of a relationship, they might have stepped out on the relationship and kind of left you hanging. You might have made plans with this person. They did something they weren't supposed to, left you hanging. And I feel, unfortunately, this past situation caused you to be very steely in your current dealings with your current relationship partner, or it's preventing you from you know, letting your guard down so that you can allow new people to come into the picture. I feel some of you have been hurt and very, very jaded. So you kind of behave like this. This emperor sitting on a throne of stone. He's a little bit cold, a little bit aloof, a little bit distant. And then on top of that, this is somebody who is who can be a little bit more judgmental too. I usually look at this as someone who's incredibly, incredibly smart, talented, and intelligent. And so when we're too smart, too talented, too intelligent, it's really hard to find somebody on our level. And this is not to say that, you know, you're making judgment, oh, this person is not good enough for me. But I feel like you're looking for more out of a relationship. You're looking for somebody that can be on your level. You're looking for somebody that is like on the same page is what I, I feel you're looking for. Not so much that you, you're, you know, making judgments, but you're kind of at a point where you want something that is real. You don't want false promises. You don't want deceit. You don't, e you don't even want relationships where 
you and the other person have no common interests. So I feel like for those who are single, professionally, things are going really well, but you're not able to meet the right people. Your standards are really high, which is fine. You're not able to meet the right people. And for those of you who are even putting yourself out there and dating and meeting new people, you're meeting people that do not make the checklist. They're not really impressive and they're they're just they're just people that, you know, you, you can't really see yourself dating. So I feel like there is a little bit of disappointment here. And then on top of that, the demands of work. There might have been a recent move for many of you, and then the demands of work is starting to catch up. Some of you might have physically moved into a new home environment. Some of you might have moved away or moved out of a place you were sharing with a relationship partner after there was like a falling out. So many of you are coming into the month of February, I feel quite single. And as a result of it, I feel some of you are burying yourself, you know, in the work front and you're using work as kind of like the anchor in your life to solidify things, to get you to forget certain things that happen. And I also feel like, you know, it's the area where you feel most productive, where you feel safe. It's a realm that you can trust and you trust in your capabilities. So whatever minor um, self-esteem, you know, dip that has happened as a result of the relationship. I feel like you're building up your confidence. You're building up your sense of self-worth and self-esteem based on the work that you're able to do. And as a result of it, work is really front and center in this spread. You're trying to get ahead. You're trying to achieve success here and recognition in your professional life. And then I feel that when we get into the you know, towards the middle and the end of this month. We have a new character that is going to be coming in possibly um, in the work environment. If you have recently moved homes, there's going to be, you know, flirtations and things like that coming in from the neighbors. And I also feel if you are, you know, somebody that travels a lot, dashing back and forth, there is an opportunity here for a encounter you know, like um, a very exciting encounter here. And I feel like it's going to be coming in here as a fire sign, somebody that's exciting, well-traveled, possibly different from you culturally, ethnically. I do feel an element here of, um, it's like interracial couples. So, so like um, people who might be different, you know, religiously, ethnically, culturally, possibly even linguistically. So this is somebody you're going to meet one in your home environment if you've recently changed homes. And then the second thing I'm seeing is somebody that you're meeting during your voyage, during your travel. If you're flying, they might be sitting next to you. And if you are, I feel like they, if you are staying at a hotel, they might be staying like next door. So I feel like it's somebody that is in your vicinity, close to you, in proximity when you are traveling. And I also feel if you have recently relocated like to a new office, this is somebody like a co-worker or somebody that comes and goes. They might be a contractor in the new work environment. So it seems very, very exciting. And I feel like, you know, this is someone who is really attractive, uh, usually quite handsome or quite beautiful. The cards are, are gender neutral. So I'm reading this as male or female, fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, or somebody that is very well traveled. Um, they're going to make a pass at you. Okay, Taurus, I, this is here an offer. So four of cups in the upright position, it's kind of like an offer coming through that's below expectations. In the reverse position, I feel like it's a solid, good offer. They're, they might be making a pass at you. They might be asking you, what are you doing after work? What time do you get off work? Or where are you planning to, do you know the area? Can I show you around? So I feel like you might have an offer of somebody who knows you're new in the area and they want to show you around or they want you to come and do some type of physical activity like dancing um, you know, taking a walk or doing something that is a little bit more physical in nature. Um, I do feel for some of you who are just going through the motions, if you are in a relationship, okay, 
and the relationship partner is a little bit critical of you. I do feel there is a sense of estrangement for those in relationship. It's almost like we're not really seeing eye to eye anymore. There might have been some trust issues that created a rift in the relationship. You might be working a lot of overtime and you're coming home and you might be interrogated. And I also feel your partner could also be working very, very long hours and you're here wondering Worst case scenario, are they seeing somebody else? So there's that element coming through. If, if you have, you are the one that's thinking, you know, why is my partner um, working so hard? Why is my partner putting in so much overtime? I feel like they're stressed out about finances. So don't jump to worst case scenario. I feel like it's important for you to hear their version of the story or at least, you know, give them the benefit of the doubt. On the other hand, if you're the one burning the midnight oil, putting in a lot of overtime, and your partner is the one that is, like, suspicious, you know, where where were you, who were you with, why are you working so much? I do feel there might be temptation coming in from your end, okay? And temptations, there's nothing wrong with it, but there is something wrong with it if we act on it and especially if we're in a relationship. And then on top of that, if this person is coming in in the work environment, you might need to be a little bit careful. You might need to make sure that you don't make sure that you don't, you know, act on impulses. And once again, going back to the general reading, there are decisions that are made out of stress, frustration, weakness, and there are decisions made from a space of wanting the best, okay? So I feel like we want to separate things here and we want to kind of be really truthful with ourselves. Am I in the best frame of mind to be making this, this decision right now? And I do feel there is temptation. There are people in your environment and I feel like it's work situation that are really looking up to you. They see you almost as like it's you could be if you're in a supervisory position somebody that you know you are uh, supervising and they're really looking up to you they really admire you but I feel like all it is is admiration it should not be taken to the next level because there is a little bit of a power differential between you and that subordinate okay and then on top of that what I feel is Spend some time, if you're in a relationship, there's a little bit of an emotional rift here. You have to spend some time to repair this rift and to reconnect with your partner and to foster the trust in that relationship, all right? So Taurus, lots of work to um, cut out for you for this month, especially those in relationship. For singles, we have an exciting person coming through. If you are traveling, I feel like it might just be one night stand it might just be something that is short term but I feel that it can be quite good okay so if that's what you're looking for that's fine but I, I don't see there's any harm in this this seems to me like a solid person alright